Hey guys, welcome to another video and today I'm gonna be talking about this painting which is the third one for the 100 day project. If you don't know what the 100 day project is, um, I do have all the information in the description box and um, I have a lot of information right there from the dates that I need to do it to how many projects I'm gonna do. Um, right now you're gonna see me use this new masking fluid that I bought by PVO or PVO, something like that. Um, and uh, I decided to buy it because I thought I didn't want to use the Winsor & Newton masking fluid anymore. I really didn't like that one. And this one is much more liquid, much more easier to use. And I honestly really like it by my experience. Um, for this painting, I'm actually, I was actually, I actually held off a few days to, of doing this painting. Um, it, because funnily enough, I was pretty scared of painting this. Um, I'm not used to painting water. I'm not used to really making rivers or oceans or anything really. And um, I actually broke off the 100 day project thing for a few days. I think it took me three days to get started on this painting because I was just very scared of painting this water. And um, I don't know, I just water is something that really intimidates me in painting. But once I had already started this painting, it was once I had already done that first layer of blue you see right there, I was actually not as scared to do it. Um, for some reason, after I did that first layer of blue with all those little white patterns and everything, I was really okay with keeping on painting. And actually, the part that ended up being the hardest for me in this painting was the forest and the bushes. I don't know, it just ended up being the, the part that I was struggling the most because the rocks and um, the water itself, the sword, everything actually, as long as I built it up in layers, I was okay with. Um, and it's really interesting for me to have held off so much time for starting this painting because you would think that that something like bushes and forests and trees would be something personally for me to, that I was more used to than making water because I had done, done those things before. But it wasn't the case and once I had done the river, once I had already started on it, once I built up layer after layer and just looking at reference pictures and everything, it's interesting to, to, to me at least, it's very interesting just how well I handled painting the water and, and it actually overall in the picture it, it ended up being the part that I liked the most about this painting <laughs> between the, the rocks and the sword and the trees and the lights and everything it, the water ended up being my favorite part I don't know if because I was so scared of it and it ended up being not that hard for me or for some other reason but I do really like how it came out I think this painting, because of that, it taught me a lot about one about just going ahead and painting what I want to paint. Because even though I think that I might not be able to do it, even though I think that it's something hard that I, or that I think it's gonna be hard, it might not end up being hard for me. It might look okay to you guys, and if that's the case, then you know it's great. I I love it. Please think so, <laughs> but just knowing that i was able to do this and knowing that i was able to overcome painting water i mean i don't know how many of you guys have tried doing that but painting water is i i thought that it was hard um right here i'm trying to use a rubber eraser that's something that makes it easier to pick up the the dried rubber <laughs> and you can see that it's very easy that's why i didn't speed up the painting um but yeah, in the end, I, I was very proud of how this painting came out. It is a lot closer, the scenery, to the other paintings I've done. But I like that. I like that I was able to make a little bit more detail on the sword and a little bit more detail on some of the things. I do think that the rocks look better than when I made the cave, which I think is an improvement. And that's the whole reason for my, for my painting sceneries, you know. I think that now I won't be too scared to paint water in my sceneries because I do have more of those plans underwater and above water, the ocean, rivers, 
all that stuff. And now I'll be more confident with it. And I just want you guys to know that if you are if you're scared of painting something, if you're think that you won't be able to paint it because you've never painted it before, it it is rewarding to just go ahead and do it. You don't know if maybe you'll be able to do it so long as you're looking at reference. You don't know if maybe that that one time that you practice on painting that it'll end up being the one thing that you remember and you'll be remembering well this is how i did it and it actually ended up didn't end up being that hard i did end up watching other youtubers um that had done watercolor drawings watercolor paintings just to for me to learn and that's why i think youtube is such a great place um to learn just because it helped me overcome this whole thing and like I didn't know how to paint the water so I saw somebody painting it and I thought well yeah I can do this so long as I'm patient with it so long as I can do this so nearing the end I just think that if you guys want to go ahead and paint something just try it just practice and you might be able to do it and if you don't know how to do it and if it doesn't come out as well as you think that it should have been or if it doesn't come out the way you thought or you imagined it to be just remember that it's one step at a time it's all about practice it's all about um, having confidence in what you're painting and i found that out with this painting <laughs> even though maybe i should have known that from before because i've painted stuff before but it's always a process and it's always something that you have to overcome no matter no matter how good you are with painting and i really like this painting for me being my third of the landscape thing i think that i'm slowly going to improve on them and someday i'm gonna make casual landscape paintings with fantastical creatures you never know Anyways, that was all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to follow my Instagram if you want to see more pictures. And uh, thank you all. I will see you guys next video. Bye!